Welcome back, everybody. It's been a couple of days. Happy Tuesday to you. Uh, we are back again for our TTM returns. And as you can see in front of you here, we got four returns that are lined up here. Uh, a little bit of everything based on a little bit of work that I've done ahead of time here to see what we got. So um, let's go ahead and get started right up and uh, hop into today's returns. So I'm going to kind of go from the bottom here today. We're going to start off here with a return out of Boston, Mass. Now, um, I have got two items in the Boston area that I am waiting to get back. So this is one of those two. Um, again, as we've said many times now, we can kind of gauge a little bit of what's coming in based on the type of envelope that we're using. And all right, nice return here. Starting off the day with an American icon, the one and only Mike Arruzzioni. So for those of you that are hockey fans, no introduction is needed for who Mike Arruzzioni is. But for those of you that really don't follow hockey, um, Mike Arruzzioni, and as you can see on the inscription there, and based on the fact of the USA logos on the cards, this is the guy. This is the guy with the goal, uh, Mike Ruzioni, Miracle on Ice 1980 Olympic team. Um, Mike is a fantastic signer through the mail uh, for the fans. He has always been accommodating, and I think he will always be accommodating. Um, so I had tracked down some of these and finally got around to sending them out and um, got these back. Very, very pleased with that. Um, what's really neat is this card right here. I have no idea what it actually came from. It's some type of a Topps Greatest Olympian set. Um, it came out in 1983. Um, I don't, like I've never opened up any packs of this, but somewhere along the way I had picked up the single card of Ruzioni and also I picked up the single card of Jim Craig. Um, I think before I was doing the videos, I had gotten Jim Craig back in the mail. So I've actually got that card now signed by Ruzioni and then the corresponding card by Jim Craig, who, by the way, he was the goalie for the uh, Miracle on Ice. Um, this is the first one of these out of this set that I've got signed. I just never got my hands on it. Um, and this is out of an upper deck set. And I do have the Jim Craig signed out of that. Um, next up, I think I'm going to try and see if I can get Dave Christian um, who is also a member of the 80 team to sign for me. So great start here. Three of three return. Um, only took less than two weeks. All right. On next, we've got a return from Tampa. Um, with that whole Tampa St. Petersburg with the mark, there's so much stuff that could be coming through there that it makes it a little bit difficult to know exactly what this might be. Um, so it could be any number of things from any number of sports. But let's see what we got. All right, cool. Not what I was expecting with this return, but very cool. Clint Hurdle. Clint Hurdle on an old 86 Tops Mets card. Um, Clint is a, uh, a good signer. Um, he takes care of the fans here. Um, he is also requesting, in this case here, that people sent a donation here. Um, so, be signing one of your cards, however, in an effort to support the greater PWSA community and partnering with the program Autographs for a Cause. Um, Autographs for a Cause is actually really cool. They, um, they have done a lot of stuff um, where they get athletes to sign cards and then they sell them at a very reasonable price um, to help raise money. So he says, I will sign items through the mail in exchange for a donation, a minimum donation of $5 per autograph. Um, fans wishing to take part, and then there's all the information there. Um, so Clint, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I've certainly seen where a lot of guys are charging an arm and a leg um, to sign that weren't superstars of their era. Um, a $5 donation is uh, very reasonable for that, and I've got some other cards that um, I'd like to get Clint to sign some other Mets cards and even some of his minor league stuff, so I'm going to be taking advantage of that and getting a few more cards signed. Um, so very cool, though. Um, 86 Tops, that was pretty much like that. 86, 87 was when I first started collecting cards, so that was um, that's really neat to kind of add to uh, some more childhood nostalgia. Next one. We've got this coming out of Raleigh. Um, pretty much if it's coming out of Raleigh, that means it should be an NC State um, Coca-Cola guy. 
Um, there's several of them that I still have outstanding. Uh, so let's see who we got, because I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. And yep, that is exactly what we got. So we got Tommy DiNardo. Tommy was on the 83 team. After two years at Lewisburg, he was uh, joined in a member of the 83 National Championship squad. So, um, Tommy, um, as I have kind of mentioned with uh, one of the other videos, these guys really do love these um, Coca-Cola cards. Uh, I, I, I'm a little shocked that they don't see them very often. But in this case here, I sent, um, Tommy's got two different cards in the set. So I sent two of each to ask him to sign and then gave him a third one um, for him to keep. And so far, every guy that I've done that with, they um, have all kept the cards. So I've got a feeling that they just really don't see these very often. So um, I, I guess they're pretty appreciative of that. So I uh, signed them in a very thin, um, I can't tell if it is a ballpoint pen. Yeah, it actually is. It's a black pen. Um, but, you know, it comes out nice and clean. Um, so very happy to get this. And two more now for the uh, set. I think I'm up over 50 cards officially now. I, I think the last time I said I was around 50 or so, but um, I took a count after, and I was just under 50 at that point in time. So um, with this here, this should put me at like 51, I think. So very cool return, and this was only a couple of weeks out for this one as well. And our last one, Des Moines, Iowa. There's not a whole lot of graphing that goes out to Des Moines, Iowa. So I, I took a look at my list and I know exactly who this is. And if uh, if they did indeed sign, there should be something pretty cool that I'll, I'll bring up to you guys with this. And looking at that, yeah, that's, that's what I'm expecting there. All right, so Turk Wendell. So Turk is a very interesting dude. He, um, if you ever get a chance, look him up online um, and just kind of read about him. He is a very eccentric guy. Um, like you see here with this card with him kind of jumping in midair. He's not jumping to make a play. He's jumping because he, um, he, he never wanted to touch the baselines when he was coming on or off the field. Um, he, he was one of those guys that just, he, he had all kinds of just, really eccentric things um about his career he was a great reliever um you know and a great guy i actually had the chance i met him um several years ago at a minor league ball game he was actually promoting honey of all things um and it was a day of event so i had no idea he was going to be there so i showed up and didn't have a darn thing for him to sign um the turk's always been good to the fans signing and um, I just finally got around to sending some stuff out. Um, I'm a little disappointed in myself with the fact that I only had one Mets card handy on him. I don't know if I actually sent him three or four cards. I want to, uh, I, I'm wanting to think in my head that maybe I might have sent him another Mets card in there, but I'm not sure I'll have to take a look. Now, I told you that there was something interesting with these cards, and you might be able to just kind of see. If you notice kind of like this border right here, it's a white paper card, but it's almost like the border is kind of bled on the side there. And that's exactly what has happened. If you take a look here and you look at the side of the card, um, I don't know how well it shows up, but he basically inks over. And you can kind of see across the top here where it kind of bled, but he inks the sides of the card all the way around and he does this on all of the cards like normally we should see white through here for the the white cardboard nope it's all colored black and again you can see where he kind of colored it in um i don't know if anyone has officially asked him about this but um the rumor is that he does this so that if anybody tries to sell his cards he'll know if he if it was done from him signing through the mail or if it was an in-person I guess um, we don't have to worry about that with me um, certainly and this is really neat I, I just kind of realized that along with him signing he actually put Mets underneath and he's got his jersey number 99 there in the middle um, yeah and actually with that that nice little swirl that's there that actually spells out Cubs 
and then his jersey number when he was with the Cubs, it looks like that was probably 13. Um, and I can't tell if that actually says Cubs. It might because it looks pretty similar to that one there. Um, this was the Iowa Cubs minor league, so um, and number 13 there. So, and definitely another thing with an eccentric guy, he wore number 13 and number 99. So, um, you know, just those are kind of numbers you don't typically see, especially 99, um, unless you're playing hockey. <laughs> so, great return with that. And that one was also just a couple of weeks. So, on the day, uh, we went four for four. Um, if we were playing baseball, that would be a hell of a day. Um, for graphing, that's also a hell of a day. So we got our three of three from Turk Wendell. We got uh, four of four from Tommy DiNardo. We got our one of one from Clint Hurdle. And our three of three from Mr. Mike Eruzioni. So... Um, not a bad start to the week there. So we got some Mets action there. We got some NC State, some more Mets action, and some uh, hockey, a la USA hockey. So um, really good returns for the day. Um, I've got a lot more stuff that's out there, and hopefully, um, based on some stuff I've been seeing online with some returns, I'm hoping that uh, we're going to have some pretty cool stuff coming up later on in the week. Um, fingers crossed. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I, I do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be looking, hopefully, here in the next couple weeks at trying to do more upgrading of the channel because this is really the first time I've ever done any kind of streaming. Um, so, I'm still a little bit of a novice and still learning at this. Um, learning at this. Learning this. I'm um, still getting used to how to do all this stuff. So um, technology is uh, <laughs> going to hopefully be increasing here and try to give you guys a little bit more glitz and glamour with it. But for right now, this is still bare bones. But I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun with this. And I will keep on doing this. Um, definitely let me know the good, the bad, the ugly of what you see. Um, I'm always open to the feedback. But guys, thanks again for the time. Stay safe out there. Hope your mailboxes are full of ink. And until next time, take care.